Hello everyone. I hope that this video finds you well. Um, it's uh, about quarter to 10. I did record my video earlier today, but unfortunately there was no sound. So I'm very grateful to the Lord that I get over these hiccups pretty quickly. I am able to accept them and be able to do what I need to do to move through them. So that's what I'm doing now. So I wanted to do a check-in with you for this video. Um, I think that's really important in regards to our connection. So connecting regularly and working on our relationship. So with it being nighttime, I just got home from my sisters and I'm going to be very honest, it is difficult with regards to nighttime has always been where it's usually me time and it's where I like to eat junk food and it's where I like to binge watch on movies or YouTube. Um, but kind of in all areas of my life, I, I do struggle with balance or the gray. It's, it's very white and black for me. That's definitely the addiction part of myself. And so with things in regards to food and regards to entertainment or unwinding, I definitely agree that instead of the all or nothing, it's going to be about moderation. Um, it was hard not to pick anything up from the store to eat. Um, and it's going to be difficult for me not to want to stay up for hours and watch stuff on the computer. Um, but I am going to use, I'm going to try through God's grace to use uh, scripture and turning to God in prayer for help. So I will try to stay, um, I'm going to stay in contact with you about that. So I'll, I'll keep you up to date with my accountability, but I'm going to try with scripture and with prayer um, to try and moderate with my junk food at night and with my binging on entertainment and not going to bed. And I wasn't even on planning on that. So I'm grateful for that. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, and I invite the Lord in and I pray for his divine intervention. And I will definitely keep you in the loop. So thank you for being there for me and supporting me on my journey. And the other part of the check-in that I wanted to do had to do with a couple of themes that have been coming up for myself, which are relationships and gratitude, seeing the good and leaving the rest. So relationships, um, they've been the greatest struggle for me in my life, definitely have caused me the greatest pain, especially my closest ones, which usually are family. Um, I was hesitant in talking about certain things um, it's, I've lacked a little bit of motivation this week with the videos and I was unsure why. And it's, I talked to the Lord and I, it was as a result of me thinking that I shouldn't discuss certain things, um, which I believe is like the worldly side and fear. And then me at my core, why I'm doing this is I can be respectful and I can, that use what I want to talk about, what I'd like to discuss and connect to you about um, in a way for me to work through my healing and get to the other side. And a huge part also is so that I share my experience, strength and hope with you. And if you can benefit from that at all, that means the world to me. So I want to be able to discuss the things that I deal with on a regular basis. 
because those things add up and add up to really big deals. Those were really big deals, especially trauma related in the past. They might not be as a big deal as they were previously because of my healing and my growth in these areas, but they still, especially relationships, and then with regards to the gratitude and work that I'm going to talk about, play a huge part in my life. So I've just learned that I, ha I still have huge expectations on my loved ones. And when I feel like they're not meeting my expectations, I can still get very angry and defensive. And I come from a place, which is my pride, that I'm right that there is a right and wrong. And I'm very grateful to my sponsor. We had a conversation and she was able to show me uh, after she had asked the Holy Spirit for his divine intervention of if she should bring that to light for me or, or not. And she did. And I never, I wasn't even aware of it that I was, I was coming from a place I was reacting in situations with my loved ones out of the past and out of hurt and to acknowledge that I want to come from a place of love and compassion. It's not my job. It's not my job to teach somebody. It's not my job to make somebody well, to change someone. That's all in God's hands. And I was unable to come from a place of love and compassion with my twin sister. And I thought I was in the right, but my sponsor was able to shed light that there was unhealed things um, on that topic for me. And so biblically, I love, so it's better to be kind than it is to be right. And that to combat evil with goodness. But when my emotions are so high, especially from trauma and my pride, and I think that I'm right, that I couldn't even see that there was another way. And But for the grace of God, through her support and his light, I got to see that instead of me hurting other people, because I was coming from my place of hurt, that I was willing, because of my healing, I was willing to receive that wisdom and now be able to learn from that. And I'm so, so grateful for that because I carry a lot of bitterness with me. And that's, that's a deadly evil that consumes me and can consume my relationships, but that's as a result of me. I only have control over me, and that's what I wanna work on. And then that brings me back uh, to my second topic, which is work, is I'm going back to work soon. I've been off on a stress leave, and I've taken this time to really get well, but a theme in my life that I've had is running. So I've thought that I have to run from this job because, um, because management is difficult, stress is overwhelming, and I was going to have an interview, and then I just, between God and myself, it was, I was, if the job paid more, then I would take that job. But I would, because I've been working on gratitude and healing, and world versus the spirit, I was just like, that's not the right motive. God was letting me know. And the job I have now is the most fulfilling job I've ever had. And I love it. And there's so many things that I can choose to see, see the good and leave the rest that are benefits for me. So I've decided not to run and I've decided to go back to this job and to really work on my attitude change from within. So I'm going to work on uh, surrendering perfectionism and working on moderation. I'm going to work on having to control everything. Actually, what I've done is I've 
written down prayer intentions. That's how serious and willing and committed I am to my healing and my growth. So when I do my prayer in the morning, I have these intentions so that I can work through them because I've carried this theme of defensiveness and bitterness when it comes to work in this world because I don't get to be my spiritual self to the fullest degree that I would like to, that I now feel ideally God's mercy and grace upon me to work through that. And I want to work through that. I'm very grateful. So please keep me in your prayers and I will definitely keep you in the loop with regards to how that goes. Thank you so much for taking this time to check in with me. I've set up to be a foster parent for rabbits, so I'll let you know how that goes. I'm really excited. Any extra fur that I get in my life brings me so much joy. And then the next two videos, I'm hoping I'm going to have my twin sister on with me and wherever our Heavenly Father leads us for that video, we will see you then, as well as a video with uh, my dog Sherman, and I'll introduce him. So. Until then, I'm sending you lots of love and blessings, and thank you just so much for sharing this time with me. I'm praying for all of you, and I'm here for you whenever you need me. God bless and lots of love. Take care. Bye.